Welcome back to another video, my YouTube family and friends, my MVP family, pick up yourselves, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I am here tonight. <laughs> you know that allergies are kicking my butt now. My God, allergies are just, my eyes are itchy and red. I, my brother, as my brother said, it is such a sweet thing to scratch your eyes. <laughs> when the pollen hits it but boy after that it burns like pepper so just add, add some cool towels to it guys just put wipe a little vaseline across your eyes before you go out in the morning i'm no expert now but this kind of work for me sometimes just a little clean vaseline just wipe it across from the corner of your eyes so the end of your eyes as the eyelashes that you're covering um on both eyes i sometimes put a little vaseline on my finger and kind of wipe it in on my around in my nostrils because if i find that sometimes when the pollen especially when it's windy and the pollen is blowing that instead of it hitting the membranes in your eyes and your and your nostrils kind of will stick to the the vaseline and so the the it doesn't affect you as much i'm not saying there's perfection for me sometimes it works um sometimes by the time the day ends and by washing my face at work just to you know and and to just deal with the allergies um sometimes by the time i leave um because sometimes you're crying and you didn't even you know the, the water um you know things like those so you might wipe away the vaseline so by the time you're leaving in the evenings again and the, if, the, if it's windy and the pollen is, pollen is blowing out there then it might hit your eyes again so you get home and you have to wash your face or shower if you can just wash your hair from head to toe then that will get rid of whatever pollen had was sticking you change your clothes drop them in a plastic bag because you're bringing in the pollen with you and so little tips to deal with the darn <laughs> pollen during this time it's beautiful the flowers are blooming everything is beautiful but the pollen is real guys and it's it's it's, it's a tough go but good night again good night regardless of the pollen and my sleepless nights last night i did sleep well which is wednesday night into thursday morning i did wake up a few times but i was able to go right back to bed um but then um, the few nights before that, because of the stuffy nostrils, like um, the adenoids in my nostrils were swollen. So I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, what's I, I couldn't breathe? I mean, I said that I couldn't breathe properly in order to, to sleep well. So I had to sit up. I actually sat at my desk Friday night to get an hour and a half sleep. Um, the second night, Saturday night into Sunday <laughs> was interesting. But again, I fought through and I got to sleep. Well, Wednesday night, I did sleep well. I got up three times, but was able to go back to sleep. So listen, with that said, my, my MVP family, I am telling you that I'm grateful for all things. And tonight, as I get into talking about the Blessing Soup Kitchen and to just, just give thanks again, guys, this is a thankful night. So it's a it's a video of gratitude it's such you know it's a, it's a good thing and so tonight i'm going to do a poem um which was written by an, an anonymous person um so before i even get into it i would like to share these quotes with you that before we get to the <laughs> all right <laughs> Before I get into the into the poem, I want to share this quote with you. And this was by William Arthur Ward. And he says, gratitude can transform common days into thanksgivings. It can turn routine jobs into joy and can change ordinary opportunities into blessings. That is so perfectly true. He says, this other person, John Henry Joet, he says, gratitude is a vaccine. It's an antitoxin, 
antitoxin and it is an antiseptic. That's what gratitude is, right? That's another form of gratitude. But this person wrote that we should be thankful that we don't have that we don't already have everything we desire. Because if we did, what would there be to look forward to? The person says, be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives us the opportunity to learn. He says, be thankful for the difficult times. During those times, you grow. And it goes on to say, be thankful for your limitations because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. It says, be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you have made a difference. It says, it's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become your blessings. So again, as I said, author is unknown, but just think of each verse and think of the things that if you just find a way to be thankful, that it doesn't matter how hard things are, it can turn out to be a blessing, right? So tonight I am thankful for the Blessing Soup Kitchen. I am thankful for my manager down there in Jamaica, Dawn Brown. Guys, if you haven't checked out her channel yet, go over and check out Life with Bev Brown. Give her a thumbs up. Watch her video and leave her a comment. Tell her Miss Bev Productions sent you. Ev Brown took on the channel, the challenge to cook for these people in Jamaica. And it's three months in, guys. Three months in. And we are still cooking up a storm. Breakfast and dinner is still being served. And tonight I say thank God for his blessings on us. All we need is a prayer or an idea or a dream. And then we have to work hard. To make them become realities. They're not just going to evolve into greatness. If we do not put the hard work in. Thank you Bev Brown. For continuing the services. Thank you Bev Brown. And thank you to Mr. Stewart. Who regardless of his. You know his, his struggles. That he is willing to step in. I love 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 when he's when you ask him. How did you come about wanting to do this? How did you come about? You know, I watched him as you said he had an appointment, but he was quickly back to help you deliver the food. Sister Dawkins is away in St. Vincent visiting friends. And so I worried for you. I said, oh my God, how is she going to manage? But God prepared someone for you, Beth Brown. And so you have... You, you, you do the cooking, you get things done, you do the shopping, you get the cooking done, you get everything prepared, but God provided Mrs. Stewart to be here to help you with the delivery. I know it wasn't easy, but you know what? God is good. And so I love, love, love and appreciate him so much when he says, God taught him to do it. God, God who put these things in the heart that people want to get up and do good. So tonight again, I say, guys, this is a thankful video. Um, I'm sharing with you meals from this week that was prepared by Beth Brown. Um, 
And sometimes, yes, we have rich, rich meals and they, they do get their curry chicken, their brown stew chicken. They do get their, their, their fish. Uh, we were able to give them fish a few times. Um, different things are being prepared, guys. And so this night, we'll share the video clips. I want you to enjoy them. I want you to just know that three months in and cooking is still going on. The, the needy ones are still being fed. And I personally am thankful. I am so thankful. I want to give a shout out to all of my donors. Uh, we still we received some funding um, recently. And so, again, we know that we're building the, the, the structure for her to be able to have a, a more space to move around and to bring the water inside the house so she can have access to to, to just, if it's raining, she doesn't have to be out there in the rain um, getting water, but that water will be right at her fingertips. So to God be the glory, great things he has done. And we will keep going until we can't go anymore. <laughs> we'll keep going until we can't go anymore. But for now, we're doing the best that we can do. Again, we ship, the three barrels got shipped, cleared, and, and have food to support. Um, funds go down. I send funds down to get the, 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 the vegetables and, and stuff. Bev Brown getting food provision tonight. I noticed they're getting breadfruit and dumpling and yam. Praise be to God. And so we say thanks to all of you who have been supporting, who have been encouraging, who is on the Lord's side, who is on our side, appreciating and supporting as we go along. So people, listen, it's not grandstanding. It's not uh, uh, whatever it is. It is feeding those who are in need. As I said, people when in, in earlier days, they work hard, they till the soil. They plant food and, and, and sell food and pr provided. And, and now in their old age, as I said, there's no retirement fund. There's no trust fund. There's no lottery winning. There's nothing. And they work hard until their bodies ache and they couldn't work anymore. And now they're there. And so hunger is not a good thing. Hunger is never a good thing. So we might not be able to provide them grand homes or, 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 or dwellings and, and fancy anything. But you know what? A meal, even in a house that is leaking, is better than sitting with the roof leaking, belly hurting from hunger and despondence. So we provide the meal. We know that they're enjoying it. They appreciate it. It does make a huge difference. And so as they continue through their struggles, we know it's not easy, but we know that they can look forward to something hot to eat some breakfast in the morning when they wake up and so they're able to say thank you lord for your blessings and so please continue to support us donate to the channel i will drop the link in this video because as it relates to um the soup kitchen i will drop the link in the video so that you can see so enjoy these videos guys bev brown shared them with me um and so i i, I put them in and I hope that you'll enjoy them and have the heart, may your heart be touched to donate, even for one meal, even for one day's meal. If you put $20, we can feed those 17 people for one day, guys. We can do that. So Whatever you have, all of you have donated $5, $10, $20, $100, whatever you can. It is totally appreciated so that we can continue with this soup kitchen. All right, so right now the building is, is, is post, the wires are tied for the columns and the building blocks will be going up. And again, we, we, we got the materials and we're moving forward and we need to be able to pay the men to do the work and to get the door. Got some cement, Beth Brown got some cement. Um, she got a donation and from other monies that were saved, she was able to get some cement and the, the, the things to do the tying of the steel and so we're going to start going on and hopefully 
if no one, you know, if we get donations, I'm praying and I'm hopeful and I trust God and I believe, I do believe that he's always opening a window or door for me and he'll open that door again or that window so that we'll get the funding to get a door to also get the the, the rest of things. I think it's just a door because we have Salitex for the ceiling. We have the zinc for the ceiling. We have we have the, the, the steel. We have the building blocks. We have um we have the sand, the stone, the mud. We have all of those things. We have the, the kitchen sink and the tank is there with water. So we might be needing fixtures to bring it into the kitchen. And we're also doing the bathroom. So we might need water, um, need fixtures for that. But when we get to those parts, when we get to that part of the river, we will figure out how to cross it. Because God continues to open doors for us. He continues to provide enough so that we can also give back a little to those in need. So again, people, I'm thankful to be doing this. I, I, I was able to go there and stand on the ground where it is because this is not the area that I'm from in Jamaica. I don't know these people. I know Bev Brown only. But you know what? When God touches your heart, you just do what he asks you to do. And when he, he, he guides, he's not coming to tell you this is what you need to do, but he opens the way and he shows you different signs. It shows you different situations that, that, that stirs the heart and say, yes, I must do his will. So let his will be done, guys. Let his will be done because he's the one. He says, don't let your light shine before mankind. So they will see your good works and glorify him who is in heaven. Let us go forth, guys, and each one of us have what we are going to make a big, big change. All right? So you make it a great evening. Remember, gratitude is a must. And with gratitude, remember that gratitude can turn a negative into a positive Find a way to be thankful for your troubles and they can become blessings. Be thankful always. I don't care what's happening. Be thankful no matter how rocky it gets. Be thankful. Remember when it wasn't so rocky. Remember when things were at a different place and just continue to be thankful. Don't give up. Don't cuss and swear. Don't be envious of anybody. You be thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. Make it a great one for MVP family. If you can be good, just be careful. Be thankful. Be prayerful. Be respectful. And be friendly one to another. Oh, good. Oh. Wait, Afi. Hmm. Wait, the story. Me, Afi. Put you in the video because boy, me tell you, you did a good job, and yeah. we appre me appreciate the job I do. Yeah. Kind of easy if you come up in the morning and if you mm. go down and come up in the evening, me know it's hard, and if yeah. you know, say you know, 100% you're yeah. a sick person. Really. God bless you, man. You're yeah. my YouTube family. This is true. I'm telling you from Miss from AIHS Ministry, ask him if he could assist in taking down the breakfast and the dinner, and he said yes. And he's doing it and today, this morning he came to seven because he have an appointment and he went and when I investigate I heard that he came like in a four thirty day to five and may say me have been tired and now get he come this evening and when we call somebody said he just he walk around and collect the dishes them and see him there with the two lunch bag for me could see see alive and direct something. Yeah man, it's true. God bless you. Yeah. Because in tired, you know. Guy went an appointment and come back yeah. and go pick up the dishes them. See with the two lunch bag now. You know, share fin chai dung. So blessing up and blessing. Yeah. Him had the man behind the scene, me have to show him up now. So what you have to say, what inspired you to do this job, Stewie? The Lord. The Lord inspire yeah. you. Alright, blessing, Stewie. Yeah. Blessing. Alright.